So when you're ready to list your house, make sure you don't make these mistakes. All right, mistake number one is pricing too low or too high. So you gotta be extremely careful when you're pricing your property. Let's start by talking about the low end, okay? Some people like to price their house extra low to try to drive viewers drive buyers and drive more offers and incite a bidding war. There's one problem with that strategy and that's that buyers actually anchor to the list price. I have to tell my buyers all the time to ignore the list price when making an offer, but I know it's buyers tendency to look at the list price and say, I don't want to pay more than like 10,000 over list. Even though the market value may be much higher, when you set a low list price, you're encouraging buyers to use that as a reference price. So be careful pricing too low. On the other side, if you price too high, your issue is that one, qualified buyers may not see it because it might be out of their search parameters. Um, number two, you might sit for a little bit longer. I know you wanna be picky on which buyers come in and only people that are willing to pay, but if your house sits for too long, then it gets a stigma of being stale. You don't want your house to go stale. It makes people question what's wrong with it, why hasn't this one sold, even though the only thing wrong with it could be the list price. So be very careful pricing too high or too low. wrong improvements. So first things first, you definitely want to do at least a few improvements to your house. When you're making improvements, what you want to keep in mind is, will this improvement drive more views to my listing on the internet, more buyers to come see the property, and more buyers to write offers? So one of the most important things to keep in mind is your front photo of your house. You want to make sure it stands out amongst the others. So landscaping, exterior paint, those could be really good improvements to drive more views. Um, moving on from there, some sellers decide to do the wrong improvements, okay? Some sellers say, hey, we're going to fix the roof or we're going to add insulation in our attic or other things like that that's not going to get you more money from an offer. Yeah, once you're in escrow, it's gonna be great because your house is gonna pass inspections really well, but it's not gonna get you more money at the beginning. So just keep in mind when you're thinking about improvements, make sure it's things that will get you more money from initial offers. And guys, if you have more questions about what improvements to make, I have plenty of videos on that, or you can reach out to me for a consultation. And finally, the third mistake home sellers make, selling too fast or too slow. So you want to be really careful on what day of the week you put your listing on the market. Some people list on like a Monday and they get offers coming in and lots of showings. The problem is they're going to have to start responding to offers before they make it to the weekend. You always want to try to get a weekend in the time that you're being listed, especially in this market where things are selling so quickly. You don't want to ostracize buyers that can only see properties on the weekend. So listing on a Thursday is actually a really great time because you can say showing start on Friday, keep it on the market Saturday, Sunday, and then go ahead and review offers on either Monday or Tuesday. That's going to be a great timeline for you. The mistake I see is when sellers get offers at the very beginning and immediately say, oh, we're getting an offer at list price, let's accept it. You always wanna go back and do multiple counter offers and try to get the bidding war started and get people to come up in price. Otherwise, you're simply living, leaving money on the table. So make sure you don't just immediately accept offers that you're gonna go and try to counter and try to get the most money that you can for it. The second way you can leave money on the table is actually by being too slow to accept an offer. So if you take too long to get an offer accepted, those buyers may decide, hey, we're gonna move on, hey, we found something else. So once you get an offer in hand, you wanna wait a couple days, but you don't wanna wait too long. On some of our more expensive houses, where you don't get multiple offers or you get a couple offers at different times and you're expecting to sell in like a month or two, as opposed to a day or two, like in the lower priced markets, um, in these more expensive markets, sometimes sellers get an offer immediately and they decide, hey, like, let's wait and see if something better comes along. Something better might not come along. So in that kind of a market, you want to make sure that you're accepting 
a good offer when it comes by. And hiring a great real estate agent will help you decide what to do because an experienced agent can tell you if you need to take a great offer right away or if you can expect more offers to come in and you should go and try to incite a bidding war. Well guys, thanks for watching this video on the three biggest mistakes that home sellers make. If you're looking to sell a house the next 12 months and you want to sell for top dollar with the fewest days on market, feel free to give me a call. I'll drop my contact info below. I'd love to help you make the right improvements, accept the right offers, and get you top dollar.